in this lesson let's learn about permissions permissions are the primary features of discord which tells us who is allowed to do what so let's see that in action so usually we used to invite so here uh, you can invite you can copy this link and you can send to your friends or other members who can who are interested to join in this channel so by copying this link you can send to others you can invite your friends into this channels so once all your friends and other people join into this channel you need to give some roles and permissions to them you need to give certain permissions to them because you need you need to restrict their actions in the discord application so that's the reason these permissions will help us instead giving permissions to each and every member who is adding into the channel it it is not a good idea to give permissions to each and every one adding for that reason you need to create the roles so for example i'm going here to the serving server settings and the roles instead giving the permissions to each and every member in the channel you need to create the roles like if you create three roles like admin role for the most most of the all the commands uh, actions can be done by those rules roles and next is the is the advanced user role so where only the majority of actions can be done by that role there is a normal role where the users can only have a send messages or read messages role if you create such that you create three roles and give the appropriate permissions to those roles and as on when the users add members add to the channel if you you can just assign the role to them the respective role to the, those users that makes more sense than giving the permissions to each and every user so in this way so i am creating a new role so this is a new role so you can give the role name here so sample role so this is what you can give a display name as a sample role and you can give save changes and you can go to the permissions tab here in the display tab you can give the color and uh, in the permissions tab you can go and you can give the permissions so what all the permissions this role can have like uh, he can manage the emojis or uh, manage the server so there are n number of tick members band members you can give n number of permissions like you need to enable this save the changes it means this role consists of tick members permission like that you can also add the band members permissions enable this and save the changes so it means this sample role has the permissions of ticking the members or band the members so like that you need to create the roles in your uh, discord application so this is what i have shown in through the application so let me show the same through the code as well so i will show you how to create a role and how to assign that role to a user so let me do that so i will take in file i will add a, another command file here So I will uh, do this as a permissions. Dot js. So again, uh, I will uh, as usually I will uh, copy the content from the ping. Dot js, and uh, I will use a permissions. Dot js. I will just uh, paste here. So I will uh, modify the ping command to the permissions command. So I will uh, modify the description as well. Sample permissions. So now uh, let me write the main logic here. so here i will be creating a new role so when the user says to create a new role the parameter i am using as a create role so this is what the parameter i am using create role if the user ask to create a role so say uh, we we are just hard coding the role for now so messages dot how we are going to create a new role messages dot grill i am taking the server dot roles i need to i am creating a new method in this roles what is the data here we need to give is we need to give an object the first one would be the name name of the role so just i am giving the name is a new role and now you need to give the permissions so this is an string you can give a string or an array of values here so if you give array of values all the no permissions will be given to this role for now i am giving just tick members permission tick members permission so this is the object we have constructed so also once this object was created i am uh, doing an a uh, promise call 
so dot then so if this call is success then this then would be executed then i'm writing a message dot channel dot send so here once the promise is created this is success it means once you are able to create a role then then only this then would be executed it means a promise is success is resolved then this then function would be executed then you can write if user friendly message saying that role created so if this is failed so then you can have a catch block here so I'm writing the dot catch here if this goes fail you can write the catch block here so directly i can uh, write the console i will write the console here you can catch the error here in the arrow function yep so this is a promise call if once this call is success is a uh, resolved then this then web method would be called if it is rejected this catch method would be called so here we are trying to create a new role let's see whether it works or not so i think uh, we are running the server as well yep let's uh, see this so i need to do the permissions space create a role so this is what the command i need to give to execute this piece of code let me do that so i'm going back here yep permissions space and i'm creating a new role enter so I have uh, created a new role so let's see what happened here so i think we got 403 error so this is because we don't have respective permissions to create the role so that's the reason we got this issue so to resolve this issue we need to go back to the server settings once again and we need to go to the roles and to the default permissions all the members in the application will have this default permissions rule you need to go here and you need to scroll down and you need to enable this manage roles so here by this ma manage roles only you can enable or give permissions to the roles so if you enable this then only this will be getting an action to create the roles so if not will be getting 403 it is a forbidden error it means we don't have permissions to create the role so that's the reason this bot doesn't have the permission so that we got this error now we have enabled this so let's let's run once again so i will run once again this same permissions create role so now if you see the role was created so successfully we could able to create the role let's go back to the server settings and check whether the role was created or not here you can see the new role was created so in the in this video we could able to create a new role in the next lesson we'll try to assign this role to the user and we'll learn how to check the permissions as well